Hi there and thanks for stopping by. My name is Gavin Fish. This is my channel. Today we're continuing our look at victims and possible victims of the Zodiac Killer in commemoration of solving the 340 cipher late last year. In today's video, I'm going to briefly cover a crime that I covered in detail with my friend and former partner, Rick Tracewell, when we were doing the Solve Crimes with Rick and Gavin YouTube channel. I'll leave a link in the description below to a playlist that covers the case in depth. It was March 7th, 1970. Nurse Judith Ann Hawkery, known as Judy to friends and family, finished her shift at Sutter Hospital in Sacramento, California. It was about 11 p.m. when she was last seen leaving the parking garage in her 1968 Mercury Cougar. Her fiance, Ray Willis, was waiting at her apartment where they were planning on sharing a late dinner. At about 1.45 a.m., concerned that Judy still hadn't arrived at the apartment, Ray went outside to check the parking lot and found her car with one door ajar. Looking closer, he saw her keys on the floorboard, buttons from her coat on the seats, and ripped up towel fragments in the car. After looking around for her for a few minutes, Ray called police at 2 a.m. Shortly thereafter, he called Judy's parents, who rushed over to help search for her in nearby fields. For the Sacramento Sheriff's Office, Ray Willis was suspect number one. Over the next few weeks, he was brought in for questioning multiple times. In the meantime, everybody was out looking for Judy. She just wasn't the kind of person who would leave and they couldn't ignore the evidence in the car that there was a struggle of some kind. The case of Judy's disappearance was covered daily in the Sacramento newspapers. Local TV and radio covered it as well. There just weren't many clues to go on. Then on April 25th, 1970, just seven weeks after her disappearance, Judy Hockery's body was found in a shallow grave in Weimar, California, about 40 minutes east of her apartment in Sacramento. That's when her case went from a suspicious missing persons case to a full-blown homicide investigation. Judy had been strangled and beaten to death. The investigators on scene said her face had been smashed to a pulp. Her jaw was broken in at least two places and several teeth were knocked out. The sheriff coroner, William Scott, said, quote, she was the victim of one of the most god-awful assaults I have ever investigated, close quote. One of Judy's stockings had been tied around her neck along with pieces of a cotton towel, which investigators believed to be a gag. The stocking was pulled so ferociously that her hyoid bone had been broken. She had been a victim of sexual assault. Her body was stuffed into a canvas bag and was buried. When she was found, she had been dead approximately six weeks, which means she was likely tortured for a week before she was killed. The owner of the property where Judy was found stated to police that he'd seen three young men on his property six weeks prior who claimed to be digging for antique bottles. When he approached their car, they closed the open trunk. He said they seemed very nervous about him seeing what was in there. 
Police believe that the three men the property owner saw were actually there digging Judy's grave. Like I said before, I've done an entire series looking into this case, which I'll link below. Suffice it to say that there are tons of other clues and even a witness that Rick and I found during our investigation. I suggest you go and watch those videos. Now, why do some people believe that Judith Ann Hawkery could have been a victim of the Zodiac Killer? Well, one reason has to do with Donna Lass, the nurse in Lake Tahoe whose disappearance appeared to be the work of the Zodiac. Because both Donna and Judy were nurses, and because of the case of Carol Beth Hilburn that happened near the same time, who some newspapers mistakenly described as a nurse, people thought that the Zodiac was targeting nurses in the area between Lake Tahoe and the San Francisco Bay. I covered the Donna Lass case previously, and we'll be doing Carol Beth Hilburn's case in the next couple of days, so stay tuned for that one. As for whether or not I believe Judy Hockery was a victim of the Zodiac Killer, I think not, unless the Zodiac Killer is more than one person. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Please leave them below. The case of Judy Hockery is what brought me into this world of true crime. It's a case that I very much would like to see solved. There was DNA evidence collected, but my understanding is that it was lost in transit between the two counties that investigated her death. I've not been able to verify that though, so there is still a little hope that there could be a DNA match someday. In the meantime, her case remains unsolved. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below.